and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Tamiyo Dredge. All right, so we've been playing Dredge quite a bit on this channel over the last couple of weeks. It's been uh, basically everybody's favorite deck. It's been uh, a deck that a lot of people have really liked watching. And one card that a lot of people have been asking about and been wanting me to try out is Tamiyo, Collector of Tales. And so that's what we're going to do here. Tamiyo is is obviously very powerful for this deck whenever it's on the battlefield. The tick up of milling yourself for four, plus uh, you know sometimes gaining cards if, if we're like digging for something, or even the minus three of uh, getting back something that we need. Um, certainly really good. Really that plus one ability. Um, so we're going to try it out. So we're splashing here for Tamiya. We have, I have six green sources, which I know is not a lot, but we get to see a lot of cards uh, with our different with our different things. I also have um, an extra charter course than what I had before. We only had one charter course. So I'm trying a second, and I am trying an extra land. I think. Oh no, never mind. I guess back to the 21 land to fit in that that other charter course. So uh, the basically taking out the Ashiox, replacing them with Tamios is the the main change here. And then since I have the two Tam Tamios, I'm taking out the fourth Jace for the second chart, of course. So that's like the changes in the main deck there. I still have a couple of red lands to, to try to be able to cast Phoenix, uh, but as we play this, we may realize that we want uh, just even more green lands and just not be able to cast Phoenix at all. But I mean, the, Fe the Phoenix is when they get stuck in your hand, it's kind of hard to, to get rid of them. And so like that's that's like the reason why I wanted to add in another chart, of course, was with these, uh, if, if we're not really gonna be casting Phoenixes basically at all. Uh, we need another way to get them out of our hand whenever we draw them. Um, but yeah, other other than that, uh, we've talked about like the removal spells in the sideboard of like what to play. Um, I've I've had a moment of craving, cast down, ritual of soot, enter the god eternals, like the ones I was playing before. But I wasn't playing any tyrant scorn. I think tyrant scorn is going to be better than cast down, and honestly, pretty good for us in general because it still uh, kills you know, early creatures, any, you know, any creatures, but then just bouncing creatures back to our opponent's hand, that tempo could, could really help out this kind of deck. This kind of deck just needs that tempo and needs to get going and everything. So even just the bounce, um, thing could be pretty strong. So I think Tyrant's Corn should be the sideboard removal spell instead of cast down. So got that over there. Um, but that's, that's our deck. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's see if Tamio helps improve the deck or or not, or if it's just not worth it with the mana. Let's give it a try. You need more Hawkeye? More Hawkeye. What? All right. So this this deck uh, is a deck that we want to find at Drowned Secrets right away, whenever possible, because Drowned Secrets helps us self mill very fast. Another option with this deck, if we really like Tamios and stuff, is you know like we could move away from Narcomoeba. I was considering that. I was considering just moving away from Narcomoeba with this build. But I think even with, with Tamiyo milling very quickly, we want the blockers. But of course, the Narcomu having the Narcomubas in hand is, is really rough. But we could, like, instead of having Narcomubas, we could have, like, uh, a couple more charter courses. Um, and another land. Playing against, like, a green deck.
All right, we got a Phoenix over there. <clears throat> I think I'm likely just going to be casting an Arc Amoeba this next turn. Ooh. All right, so if we... So we need to draw a land here, basically. We need a land. If we get a land, we get to opt... Opt, briefing, opt. And we can get the Phoenix back in play. Hmm. All right, we did not get land. Let's just discovery then. Ah, there's land. I really hope we hit land drop here. Yes, we do. Um, I don't really want to... See, this is the problem. I don't really want to shock... Well, here we're gonna need more land just in general anyway. But let's just keep both the land, both the lands. Oh wait, but I'm gonna be milling myself too here. I shouldn't have kept that land. Oh well, too late. Hey, still hit a phoenix. Hey, flat dude. Yes, having a good day. I hope you are having a really good day as well. Okay, Blocker. Nakami was here, gaining five life. They're gonna give their Vine Mare Trample? That'd be rude. Hmm. Not quite as rude, but still rude. What? Um. Okay, Galta's a huge problem. I mean, we, ha we had this covered pretty easily until Galta. All right, well, let's start playing our cards. Where you going with the mask I found? Pay two life. Down to eight. But then I get to discovery. So what's the difference to discovery is two more cards. It's unlikely that that's going to be worth it. We need to hit, you know, creeping chills. Double creeping chill. One chill. All right, so my opponent has lethal. If they attack with everything. Okay, they have a little bit more than lethal now. Galta, that thing's way too big. All right, so we're gonna want. Hey, thanks, Hero Shook. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So we're gonna want uh, like Ritual of Soot and Tyrant Scorn, uh, especially Tyrant Scorn, and that's our tenth sub of the day. 
gets a, a sub goal towards the next sub battle stream. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hero Shook. Oh, that's true. They might have had the damage, the deal damage quest, so I should just let the the tag go through. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, Chase may be a little slow for us here. Kind of the same with Tamio. They're both kind of slow. Tamio not as much. Tamio self mills very fast. All right, we're gonna replace Jace's with Tyrant's Corns. Gonna try a turbo mill. I, I don't know like how much like Ritual of Soot's really gonna kill their creatures. Cause I'm I'm expecting like Null Hide Ferox. Um Dang, double chill in hand. Really need these chills not in hand. You know, Null, Nullhide Ferox, Vine Mare, um, you know, Galta, Ronus, all that kind of stuff. I think the the biggest reason to play Ritual of Soot would be if we, you know, Steel Leaf Champions, but hopefully they just don't have those. Well, this hand's not good. Jace's half of the self mill is Tamio. Jace does two, Tamio does four. <clears throat> Come on, Drown Secrets or or Tamio. All right, come on, Tamio. Good chance we're going to need to be hard casting the Screaming Chill. <laughs> Hey, Narinen. Day's going good. Well, as long as there's no... I guess I, I guess I messed that up. All right, drown secrets. That's good. As long as there's no, nothing like really big, you know, no Galta, nothing like that. I mean, even if Drown Secrets just takes out the Brontodon, that's still, you know, a, a fair, a good trade for us. I can mill, self mill some before it does, like before it dies. Okay.
<clears throat> Ritual of Soot would be looking pretty nice here. To be honest. So now if they want to kill the Drown Secrets, they have to tap one of their mana creatures as well. Well, we did, we did mold a five. Like our, yeah. We had a, a pretty bad five card hand. You know, we had, we mold a five with a Creeping Chill. Our hand was land, 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 opt, Creeping Chill. We're like, we're trying to have it work, but it's not, not doing so great. Okay, now we're doing stuff. We got a phoenix. Okay. More phoenix. Um... It's a little awkward because I, I really like the mission briefing. I wouldn't mind drawing a mission briefing here. But I I just want to self-mill. Alright, we'll take the discovery. I guess I should have just milled over the discovery and then cast it. This is going to be tough. This puts us down to one. Oh, they they got rid of the wrong Galta or the wrong Ronus. They kept the summoning sick one. So this will only do four to us. Alright, well there's Drowned Secrets, but I need to cast this other Radical Idea, of course, this turn to be able to get this Phoenix back. I mean, we need to hit like creeping chills and narcomibas. I mean, I can play both of these cards, but we need, yeah, we, we gotta hit like creeping chills and narcomibas. Oh no. That's, that is the worst. Drawing a creeping chill.
All right. Well, there's a creeping chill narc amoeba. We're doing it. Stay alive. All right. So 27 cards left. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Mission briefing is like my best card to hit, but we've already gone through three of them. There's only been one discovery, so let's tick up and look and say discovery. Let me aid your research. I guess discovery doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah, my decision to draw a creeping chill there was was pretty rough. Not a good one. We're still alive, though. We're not dead. Yep, not dead. Officially not dead. Alright, so there's two chills and two narc amoebas left in the deck. I can't really cast this Creeping Chill and do anything. And I think getting rid of... No tail should be discarded. Not having a single Jace is probably a mistake on my part. There's a chill. Where's our other two phoenixes? So we get three phoenixes back. I think we have this. If they if they draw a land, I think we kill them next turn. Yeah. Oh wait, they're drawing they're drawing Ronus? I forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> well, we don't have this. I don't know why I was saying that we have this. <laughs> we definitely don't. Uh well we were one creeping chill or one chill or Phoenix short. Cause we could have attacked for twelve in the air there. They were at fourteen. We needed one more. We need to hit one of our other two chills or the last Phoenix. <clears throat> uh, and, and we went through all but nine cards because, you know, I kept ele there was 11 cards in the library. I kept those, those two cards on top weren't, you know, putting them in the graveyard weren't, you know, want to change anything there. Um, so we went all, all but nine. We needed to either have, you know, our third creeping chills somewhere before in the top 51 or the fourth phoenix we needed one of those two things to happen so even after that multi five we almost got there oh we had nine in the air good call i don't know yeah we didn't have 12 in the air we had good call so we need to hit two so we need to hit two of the three and i guess it was just one chill you're right there's only one chill left man so i, I had my math off there so we we had to hit the the fourth chill and the fourth phoenix. Yeah, I could have milled his Ronus. That's what I should have done with one of those. I was just not focused on that Ronus for some reason. Just forgot about forgot about that Ronus. I could have milled it. All 
All right, well, good luck in hand. We got Drown Secrets. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate our opponent's mulling to four when we have this this hand here. <laughs> no, this deck is not easy to pilot. This is a this is a difficult deck to pilot for sure. Yep, I'll be doing Vol Volcano. I'll be doing the uh, set review for Core Set 2020, just like War of the Spark. Probably take two days. Um, go through all the cards. I want to do a, a better job of recording the grades while we're doing it as well. I can maybe get, maybe hopefully somebody will help me with that. All right, two, you know, two of our worst draws, but oh well. Hey, Arx Jelly, I can't complain with our opponent mulliganing to four. Thanks for that cheers there, Rx. Happy Monday. Getting on that leaderboard. So Discovery is three looks at a land. Chart of Course is only two looks at a land. But, you know, Chart of Course gets rid of the Phoenix, of course. But we do, we need land, and so Discovery is, is three looks, so I'm playing it. Those will do. Death Bloom. Valid. So five power in place. So if I play Jace, Jace dies. Guess we'll just go ahead and start with this charter course here. Still be able to have three spells next turn without a problem. And there we go. Now we now we definitely do with that opt. Narnan, those are both good choices. And so, yeah, maybe, so you're leaning towards Sultai Dreadhorde for the weekend. I think that's a really good deck. I, I like that. I like that choice. Um, yeah, I'd say go for it there with Sultai Dreadhorde. I think I like that more than Bant Flash. I think... Um... I think you may need to, like, I'd be a little worried about, um, like, basically, the, the Bant, the Bant Ramp deck, with those two decks, I think you're going to need a, a good plan against Bant Ramp. Alright, we're getting all of our Narcomibas. Buzz. 
Sure. I'll just take the land. Birdies! There we go. Get to attack. Get these birds in here. We haven't had this opportunity with that last game. I, I haven't really seen any difference in the difficulty of Mythic and Diamond from my, from my experience. Whoa, Narinen, thank you so much for that big time cheers. Saying doing something for no reward is in itself, in and of itself, the reward. Thanks for taking a minute. You're why I come to the stream. Really, thank you. Oh, you're you're welcome, Narinen. Cheers. All right, so this this thing has reach. Guess we need to remember that 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 thing has reach. Um, yeah, glad I could help out. Let's see if we can get more phoenixes. We'll go briefing. Get rid of cards. Only 21 left in the library. Oh, there's not another briefing in here? Huh. All right, well, discovery. I was gonna go briefing, briefing, discovery, but there wasn't actually any other briefings in there. So I guess I'll just be casting Radical Idea last. Because, you know, we're trying to play the, the three spells for Phoenix. There's a Phoenix. And I'll just draw this mission briefing for next turn. We're also down to 14 cards. Oh, that should be 8 anyway. That'll be 8, exactly. So we hit. Mono red. So there wasn't any a single copy in the Invitational Top 16. Well, also... Yeah, that that invitational was a split format, so like it was it was standard and modern, right? So, you you know you can't uh, can't really take that event um, as like what's what's doing really well in a format because you have to do you have to play both formats, kind of thing. Um, but. I still like Mono Red. I still think it's very strong. You know, every, you know, everybody's coming ready for it. I don't know if there's like a different. You know, I don't know if like like the Mono Red seventy five that was like on like that everybody was really focused on three weeks ago. If that's still what you want to be playing, I don't know if there's like any kind of like innovation to be doing for like an upcoming week. I don't. You know, I, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't play a lot of Mono Red, but. I think it's a still a very good deck. I would play. I would honestly. I'd probably have. I would. I'd certainly have all four frenzies and probably three Chandra's main. I think I'd go with like the seven four drops. Right now. Yeah, certainly you'd want like like at least like seventy for sure. But I, I don't know if there's like yeah like the two or three cards. Or, or maybe not seven, maybe four and two. I would certainly have at least six, but maybe even seven. But yeah, that that's what it's four and two. Yeah, that's sorry, sorry. Yeah, so seen seen some people, a lot of people playing five, some people playing six of the four mana cards, and I would want I'd want to be on the high end of that. So probably six, then like whatever like that that regular number is. So maybe not seven. I think I, seven was wrong. As three frenzy and three Chandra, I w man frenzy's so good. I I can't imagine playing three frenzy. I can't imagine just saying like they they let you play four of that card, and and then you just say you only want to play three. Like I can't. I don't I don't understand. Like I 
you know, I don't, like I said, I don't play a ton of Monarch, but I, I don't, I don't think that playing three is the right number when you can play four with that card. Sure, we'll just take the opt. You like to mono red list with a red splash for a three frenzy in the sideboard. I do like I do like mono red with frenzy. I honestly I like mono red with frenzy. I don't like mono red with frenzy in the sideboard. Frenzy's incredible. Just get those in the main. Like why why is mono white just splashing for frenzy in the board? Just play it main deck. It's great. Frenzy's just awesome. Mono White Frenzy. Alright, Drown Secrets? Nope. Drown Secrets? Nope. Hmm. Mission briefings are good. Just really good. I'm gonna keep them. Alright, telling them to chill out. Drown secrets. I'll say. Uh, is mission briefing better than people think? Well, for this deck. For this deck that's really trying to mill itself. Uh, five power in play now. Yuck. That's an inconvenient amount of power in play. Drown secrets. So it looks like if I would have just played Jace and ticked up, we would have hit an Archimeba to help protect the Jace. I don't know if Esper has a, a, as many answers... I don't think Esper has more answers to Frenzy than what they used to. You know, like, they have Little Teferi instead of Mortify now, right? Like, isn't it just basically, like, Big Teferi, Little Teferi? Jay, save us a little bit of life. Gosh, these poison departures are pretty annoying. They have Dispark as well. All those things, you know, hit hit Chandra of of course, as well. Like, well, the shot, the disparks do, I guess. Not all of those things. Um. Let's try this. Hmm.
We've seen one creeping chill so far. Don't have anything good to mission briefing right now, but I kind of have to mission briefing. Guess I don't have to. going to be tough. If they have absolutely nothing, I I can I can kind of deal with this. This is actually a problem if I don't have no it's not a problem never mind I think I didn't have a third spell to play but no I got a, I got a third spell to play if they if they attacked on out then I would have had the two phoenixes block the two poison tip archers we would have lost a life or no we would have lost two life for each one so yeah, no, never mind. We would... Never mind. This is not okay. Alright, so we need creeping chills. Yeah, we need a lot of creeping chills. Where is creeping chill? Wow, no chills. Not good. We got one more one more shot. We've only seen one chill so far in the first 43 cards. Many chills. Ugh. Oh yeah, we already we already scribed three cards at the bottom. So that means there's a three chills are in the last eleven cards. Gross. I don't know, maybe maybe I sit back and my opponent is scared to attack. Yeah, we got zero chill over here. All right, so I think I should have played. Uh... I, think I should have played the Jace a turn earlier. You know, they had the five power on the board. I should have done that. Alright, I'm going to take out the Nargamibas and play three Ritual of Soot. 
Uh, if they're just playing a bunch of really small creatures, having a, a small chump blocker isn't nearly as valuable. Well, having two chills in hand is horrible, but we have a Drown Secret, so I'm keeping it. So if, if like, if like most of your cards are just kind of bad against Esper anyway, then I, I don't think that taking a Frenzy out of your deck because your, because your Esper opponent has efficient answers to your four mana card is, is a good way to go. It's, the card is so good against just so many decks and it's just, it's just such a powerful card that just because there's, there are answers to your your card, I don't think that's a reason to not to not play four. It's just too good, honestly. Uh, no, I, I can't read our opponent's name. It's in Spanish. Hmm. Yeah, I I do not I would do not know how to pronounce that. <laughs> the DGR. There. Well, I got punished for playing my land first. Could have just put in a water grave. Oh, so it's three different words. Paradigma del Odio. This turn we had three of our chills in the top 16. Didn't have any of them last time, and then, so that means we get them all this time. That was actually a good pronunciation. Opponent's hand doesn't seem very good over here. All right, all four chills. Down to 14. I want to have six mana before I start doing these things. Like, you know, want to try to be able to cast three spells in, in a turn. Okay, there we go. I can just cast this Phoenix also. Everyone's got to have like force landings and stuff, right?
That'll do. Find a mission briefing. So we can mission briefing discovery. Give me this Tamiyo. Or I could do chart a course. Chart of course just cycles the creeping chill in our hand. So like we either draw a card or we draw two cards and discard creeping chill. We'll do discovery. Oh wait, I don't have green mana. So I, w I was gonna probably just target them because I want I did want to draw the Tamio, but I don't have green mana, so I don't I don't need that. All right, well. That was silly keeping the Tamio. Just thinking I could play it. Is the red ley line the same? Is it ley line of punishment? Is it the same? Like, are they just reprinting all of the M11 ley lines? Yeah, our opponent really did not do very much there, that game three. Because I know, you know, the only ley line I've seen so far is ley line of sanctity. So I didn't know if they made new ley lines for the other colors or if they're just re reprinting that whole that whole cycle. Hmm. Yeah, it's not ideal. Not too ideal at all. Whenever you or at least one of your permanents becomes the target of a spell or ability, opponent's controls deal two damage to that player. Now that is that is new. That is not Leyline of Punishment. Leyline of Punishment is like players can't gain life. I think. I think that was it. Well, don't think we're winning this. All right, so this is us being very dead. We have we have all of our removal in the sideboard for the red matchup here. Don't really need to show my opponent any more cards. All right, all our removal. 
And honestly, negates are usually pretty good against red as well. But if we play all this removal, what are we doing? We're not going to really have time for Tamiyo, are we? Or, or are we? Is Tamiyo just going to be our card that we're going to need to supercharge our graveyard mill? Definitely like Jace. Okay. Hmm. Like maybe you have to take out Drown Secrets? I guess it's you know, first first out is gonna be Narcomiba. With the Dyna Chain Whirler, my ritual sits, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to be replacing it. But then, if I don't take out Drown Secrets, then. See, the Drown Secrets are like the Planeswalkers. I guess it's the Planeswalkers. Yeah, I guess it's the Planeswalkers. I'm going to keep two Js. We're going to get rid of. One chart, of course, and one radical idea. <laughs> I don't think we can cut Opt. I think Opt is really important of getting Phoenixes back of you know with it costing the one mana. I think that's a nece I think it's necessary to have the one mana cards like that. Alright, at least we had the answer to the first team, Ken. I can have mission briefing I can mission briefing back a tyrant scorn to kill another one. I mean, next turn I'm going to go Mission Briefing, Tyrant Scorn, so then do I want Discovery for the following turn after that? There's nothing wrong with Discovery. Okay, well. The thing is, is against Red, you can't really spend like a ton of time just spinning your wheels. You need to like find the stuff you want. Looks like we had another discovery anyway. Says I've just gotten a little bit sick of planeswalkers at this point. Never mind them too much before War of the Spark. I can certainly see that. I kind of, I'm kind of there with you. War has been, has been a little egregious on the the whole planeswalker side. It's, I. I was looking forward to the Planeswalker set, but I, I really don't like the, the passive abilities that they have. I think the Planeswalkers were all strong enough without these passive abilities, and I think that that's kind of made them overkill. I 
Doing this right now in case we hit draw a shock land. I can just put into play tapped. Cause so like I I could mission briefing I could shock mission briefing opt and get the Phoenix back, but that's it's not really worth it. I'm gonna wait a turn. But now we have we got that uh shock land we gotta put into play tapped. So next turn I can have like mission briefing plus discovery and just need to find another land or mission briefing opt. Like either draw a two mana spell to go with mission briefing opt or draw a land and then have mission briefing discovery look for another two mana spell. I could have gone Mission Briefing, Tyrant Scorn. That was really convenient getting that, that third one. All right, well, we're gonna try to kill him with the with the chills. Never really liked upkeep briefing. I, I usually think it's just better just to take your draw step and and have more information. But yeah, upkeep would have been better, you know, in this specific scenario where we had the creeping chill exactly where it was, but. Because especially, like, depending on what I drew, like, I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, mission briefing the Tyrant Scorn to kill the thing. Like, what I wanted to do with it. There was only... Oh, yeah, I guess I could have. Never mind. Yeah, no, same while you're right. That was that was the better line. Yeah, so I should have just with that first mission briefing, I should have just dumped it. I was like scared of not having a spell, but if I just dump it, I could just recast it with that mission briefing. With the first one. I could just cast the second one from my graveyard and then cast an opt and draw in another card. So I could have like another card in hand right now. They disconnect because I got three phoenixes or something. Should I be playing zero charter course and four radical ideas? Am I supposed to be playing all four radical ideas? So we want turn two, Drown Secrets. Turn three, Drown Secrets. The mill's over to Creeping Chills. 
turn four, opt, mill over some other creeping chills and, and two phoenixes, and then mission briefing, get the other phoenixes, and then opt again. And so we hit all four creeping chills and all four phoenixes, and we kill them on turn four. while gaining 12 life. Does my opponent actually disconnect? That's what it's looking like. Cat's name is Hawkeye. Wow. Hawkeye, you made our opponent disconnect? That's... Not polite. Well, good job, Hawkeye. We got to win because of you. Yeah, good job. Two chills in the opener. Same with the Narcomoeba. Ditch it. Ugh, keeping drown secrets here. We just need a land. Okay, well. Opt will help us find this land. Like, you know, I, I would prefer to save Opt for after we have drown secrets. And also prefer not to. Ugh. Not to take two life against the mono red deck. But we're kind of desperate here. No, I don't I don't know what that card does. Dusty, I don't think I've seen that one. Phoenix. No, I don't play too much limited clap because uh, I play so much standard here on stream. Uh, it's Symmetrical Vampiric Tutor. Okay. Um... I'm not expecting that card to see play in standard, I don't think. Um, no, we need a mission briefing. I can't take shock lands. I mean, I need lands, but I can't have shock lands. Do any land. All right, we need to draw an opt. Dang. Did not draw opt. Red is a really tough matchup for us. They're too aggressive. The slower the deck, the better for us. Like we won't be playing against control decks all day long. Uh, the faster the deck, the harder it is for us to win. 
And as you can imagine, red is a really fast deck and it makes it hard for us to win. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good picture, Hawkeye. That's a really good one. Yes, human symmetry does force your opponent to to search. Oh. Oh, it's for mill for archive trap and modern. I could see that. Yeah, to make it for a donation deck, um, you can just donate through here. A lot of information down in the info panel about uh, donation decks. But donation decks, uh, it's $20 to have your deck played, and you can, uh, you can choose what day and what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth. Because uh, I, I play four decks a day, and all the slots are open. I don't have any... Well, I've... I guess I have one donation deck right now, but it, I don't have a specific time slot for it that it needs to be played, so. Yeah, easy as that. Alright, well, I don't want to shock in next turn, so I'm not going to play the island for opt, because next turn I'm going to want to have these two mana removal spells available. Yeah, that, that card does work well with Jace. That is that is very true. If you if you have a Jace in play, you can you can Vampiric Tutor, and then you mill over theirs and you draw yours. Seems like it basically seems like it was built for Jace. Again, we keep on drawing these creeping chills. We need these in, in our deck to mill over. I shuffle your hand into your deck. Like, are you trying to... Do you want to make your opponent do that? Or you want to do that? Oh, 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 so for me. Oh, for me, for the Creeping Chills. Okay, I thought I thought we were talking about... Sorry for the, the Vampiric Tutor. But... No. There's not. There's not one. <clears throat> so just casting the moment of craving instead of the creeping chill while bad mana wise uh, does save me more damage over the long haul. I'm the best fire starter there is. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. We need a Drown Secrets. Drowned Secrets. There's no 
problem. Or Jace. Or another black land. All right, went for it there. Went for trying to find the, the black source. Uh, got rid of a uh, creeping chill. Did it not watch it burn. work out? Yeah, our deck without drown secrets is much, much worse than what it is. But of course, like this is this is kind of the problem with just filling the deck full of removal spells. You know, like all I've had is just removal spells like this whole time, removing spells and creeping chills, and we've done basically nothing. GG's. Red matchup's just really tough. We have all those sideboard cards for it, and it just makes our deck, like, not really function. I don't know. We just drew just removals and creeping chills. I guess drawing three creeping chills. It's not really very good like we did. So, very small sample, you know, we only just played the four matches there, uh, two of them against Mono Red, um, one other one where our opponent, I guess that was one of the Mono Reds, where they disconnected after the first, or after the second game. Seems like Tamiya is just pretty slow for us, to be honest. I don't, I don't think I... I don't think I really like the Tamiyo. Um, I don't know. I think Tamiyo's, you know, for like other mid range matchups, but I think just having Jason Ashiok is, is good enough. And I don't really like how we can't ever play Arclight Phoenix, or like it's really hard for us to play Arclight Phoenix because we have to try to play Tamiyo instead. Hey, Deathsta. Thanks for that resub there. Tamio didn't hurt any with the second black source, because I was just playing eight black lands anyway. Tamio did help by just having more. I guess we didn't really have any more shock lands than what I had before. Actually either. I actually have two of the other duels in instead of islands. Enter the God Eternals is kind of the card that I, I guess I, I need to just keep in Enter the God Eternals for for that. Um, but yeah, Tamio is is good. So Tamio is good in like the in the matchups where the games go longer, but that's what our deck is already our deck's already good in like the matchups that go longer. 
our deck is just really struggles against the fast aggro decks. And I don't think Tamiyo is helping us against the fast aggro decks, to be honest. It doesn't really seem like it. Like the four mana, four mana card, I don't, doesn't really seem like we need more of them. So I, I think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to uh, stick with Tamiyo. I'm going to kind of go back to our, our normal build and have Ashiok instead of Tamiyo, where Ashiok still just mills us for four, but costs three instead of four and still self mills us very quickly. We don't get to draw any cards, but it only costs three instead of four and it does. And we have better chances of hard casting Phoenix. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, the cast downs do need to be uh, Tyrant Scorn. I think Tyrant Scorn's a, a just a strict upgrade there. So I need to f fix that over to Tyrant Scorn's. But going to kind of go back to the other version. Kefnet, that's true. Kefnet's a good sideboard card, honestly. Yeah, Kefnet's a good sideboard card. I could see playing... A couple Kefnets in here for the sideboard for other people to take out removal. Yeah, I do I do like Kefnet. In here. So there go there we go. Alright, tried out Tamio. Didn't well wasn't impressed. I guess that's what we can say. So we tried out Tamio, wasn't impressed with the card and uh, whenever we go back to dredge for the next time I'm going to go back to no Tamio and uh, but I did like the tyrant score in the sideboard so we're going to keep those in the sideboard and yeah I think I think Kefnet actually could be a good sideboard card for this deck too like that's like a you know four or five is a really good blocker um, yeah or more yeah I, I think we could get some more Kefnet all right, uh, so if you're watching this video later on at YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Tamio Dredge here, and I will see you for another video.